إِنَّهُمْ يَرَوْنَهُ بَعِيدًا They, no doubt about it, they, they're the ones that see it as something very far away. In their view, judgment day is not any time close. وَنَرَاهُ قَرِيبًا However, we see it near. This is actually a really cool you know, show of perspective in the Qur'an. When a person is traveling on the road, how far ahead can they see? You know, back in, over here in Texas, relatively further away. But you know, back in the day, unless you live in New York, and you're traveling on the main highway, like you're traveling to Jersey or Maryland or something, on the turnpike, on this highway, there's trees on both sides. Right? You can only see so far ahead. You can't really see that much further ahead. Right? Somebody traveling like that, their view is limited. Now somebody traveling by air, is their view further? Can they say further out? Yeah, the, the one traveling by road on the same, in the same direction can see much more limited, and the one looking from above can see much further. And actually the one from above can see above, ahead and behind too. They've got a view that's much more grand. Allah's view is like that of events. Our view of judgment day, when is it coming? We've got a long way to go. But Allah's got this aerial view of time. Sees the entire scenery of time, the entire tapestry of time, all of history and all of the future all at once. So as far as he's concerned, he sees it very close. You know, so it's a matter of perspective that's being talked about here. And of course Allah says, don't assume that it's that far. We see it as close. يَوْمَ تَكُونُ السَّمَاءُكَ الْمُهْلِ The day on which the sky is going to look or is going to be like molten oil or molten metal. Muhl is used when things are melted. When they're pouring out, they're oozing. وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهِنْ And mountains are going to be like colored wool. Colored wool because it, you know, it's, it's flaky. Mountains are going to be flaky. Now we, we learned, how would mountains be turned into soft flakes or small pieces, shredded pieces anyway? That was the previous surah. وَحُمِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ وَالْجِبَالُ فَدُكَّتَا دَكَّةً وَاحِدًا That was already discussed. So now it's the, con- the continuation of that conversation. وَلَا يَسْأَلُ حَمِيمٌ حَمِيمًا Not a single close friend. Hamim actually comes from himma, which is intense heat. Uh, from it, it's, some argue that the last root letter can be replaced with a wow, or an alif maqsur, like hima, like fever. Feverish love for someone. Intense heat, uh, you know, love for someone. That's the word hamim, very, very close, intimate friend. That's what's called hamim. So the closest friend is not going to be asking about his really close buddy. He's not going to care. وَلَا يَسْعَلُ حَمِيمٌ حَمِيمًا يُبَصَّرُونَهُمْ Despite the fact that they will be shown very care, very thoroughly to each other. Meaning your close friend is in your view and you're made to look at him and he's made to look at you. They'll be made to look at each other very thoroughly. He's still not asking about him. They don't, still don't care about the other. It's not like out of sight, out of mind. You know, you would think they didn't ask about their friend because they couldn't see him. But they're made to see them and they still don't ask about them. يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ The criminal will on that day what wish. لَوْ يَفْتَدِي If only he could be, he, he could give ransom. افْتَدَى يَفْتَدِي Like fidya. To give a fidya is iftida. To give a ransom. مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِ إِذِنْ From the punishment of that day. The criminal will wish that he can give ransom for the punishment of that day by exchanging himself with Bibanihi, with his children. He will say, take my children into hellfire, let me go. Don't, t- don't hurt me. This is the opposite of what you would ever think in this world. So on that day, he'll just be willing to give up his child, his children, وَصَاحِبَتِهِ and his wife. That's not too far-fetched. But... <laughs> He'll be able to give up his wife and say, just take her. Wa'akhi and his brother. Wa'fasilatihi. And his close family. Close family means parents, children. Small families called fasila. You know, the, the basic unit of family. He'll be able to give them up. Allati tu'wihi, the one that sheltered him. The family that took care of him. That took him in. Waman fil ardi jami'an. And if that doesn't work, then he will try to offer the rest of the population on the earth. وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Whoever's on the earth all together. ثُمَّ يُنْجِيهِ Ya Allah, just save me. Just so that he could be rescued. 